we are changing our battery tie down right here so we'll jump in how to do that took off the original this was a 10 millimeter bolt i'll show you where these goes right here but these were the initial things took them off they were connected to that one on each side remove that up so you'll see that it was a j hook so one of them goes inside of that little hole right there hooks into there On the opposite end, the other will hook right there, right in the middle. Let me focus this. That little hole you see down there. So let me uh, set this up right here so you can see. So we have our little hook right here. We're gonna just anchor that in right there boop it's good and then now from the top we're gonna put the tie down so now we have the tie down in i found that on this one i do have to hold a little bit more tension because it'll fall out easier the back one seems to stay a little bit easier so now we're just gonna tighten it from the top so as i was tightening them I did this side first because it's a little bit uh, tighter, um, but this side ended up coming out, so I just had to kind of tighten them kind of at the same time so it could be secure, but um, that's it. Pretty much uh, good to go right there. Looks a lot better. This one had a lot of uh, corrosion going on. Just I think this is the OEM one. And for anybody wondering what tie down that was, this was the one that I ended up getting on Amazon. $20, not bad very lightweight batteries nice and secure so yeah i think it was a pretty good buy just to replace it and get a little bit better one the other one was really worn down all right here we go so it comes with the flat washer lock washer wing nut hex nut and that little sleeve but i didn't use the heck nut the hex nut i just used the wing nut and was able to tighten it down good so hope that's helpful